about to put my phone on dnd because i do not need any disturbance i was gonna start filming that's when everybody remembers me like fuck off do not disturb and i don't usually put my phone on do not disturb because i have phone fear of missing us but for this video we're doing it because i don't need any distractions <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel my name is Ifuba if it's your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it and I hope by the end of this video you click the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos today's video is actually exciting tell me and if you've seen the title and you've clicked on this video that means it's exciting for you as well for me I really love jewelry and if you've been with me for a while if you've watched like my past videos like even my fashion videos and I think how to level up in your 20s video but if you haven't watched it pause this video and go watch it now and then come back to this video I talk about how jewelry can really elevate your wardrobe because I'm a firm believer in the fact that jewelry can really elevate your look because that's what it's done for me and speaking based off of experience first-hand experience so in today's video we're talking about gold versus silver jewelry i'm just going to quickly say some of the points i'm going to touch on for this video just in case you see me looking down by any chance i have my notepad with me and the thing is that i would write my notes down or i would write my points down on my phone but like, i just do something about using like a notepad it just makes me feel like I've actually done assignments. So I prefer like, you know, putting things down, pen to paper, also like using my phone. Cause it just, I don't know, it just feels nice to me. So my key concentration points, wow, that is a lot of English. So my points of concentration for this video is going to be why I love silver jewelry a lot. Like why I choose to wear, um, you know, silver jewelry as opposed to gold jewelry. And I'm also going to be talking about how I choose the pieces to like buy or to wear in terms of like gold or silver jewelry to help like enhance my wardrobe. I'll just be sharing tips on how to like wear both gold and silver jewelry, how that can be mixed to still feel cohesive for your personal style and also just, you know, um, your overall wardrobe. And let's just get right into the video. So when it comes to like building your own jewelry collection or like maybe buying jewelry, the first thing I would advise for everybody to do is look at your personal skin color, your personal undertone, skin undertone for choosing your jewelry. What type of jewelry suits your undertone better? Is it gold or is it silver? Um, personally for me, I have a warm undertone. So there's warm, there's neutral, there's olive, and then there's cool. So your skin is kind of yellow or gold then you have a warm undertone and if your skin has blue red um pink then you have a cool undertone and then if you have pigments of greens on your skin then you have an olive undertone then if there's a mixture of both warm and cool hues in your skin then you have a neutral undertone that's important to understand or to know what your skin undertone is when it comes to choosing out your jewelry because i have a warm undertone which is yellow golden pigments in my skin what suits me naturally is gold jewelry so now this begs the question if gold jewelry suits my skin undertone better why do i now like prefer wearing silver jewelry mm. and the truth is it's personal preference i feel like silver jewelry is just giving classy and clean is giving timeless is giving that premium feels overall i'm just like a silver jewelry babe and i feel like another major reason why i generally just prefer silver jewelry is just because growing up my mom always used to gift i and my sister silver jewelry she hardly gifted us gold jewelry and like a lot of her um jewelries that we will pick out to wear or she would give us to wear for like events or occasions where like silver jewelry like that also plays a major role on my preference for silver jewelry because i just growing up that was all i knew and i got accustomed to it and i just felt like okay this looks better so like with gold jewelry it's just like yeah i will buy gold jewelry you know yeah i'll wear it here and there but like for me i my default was just always like silver jewelry how do i mix my gold and silver jewelry so that every single thing is like cohesive so my first tip would be that i always make sure there's like a silver sparkle in the gold that i choose to wear so that everything looks nice and cohesive if you get what i'm trying to say so everything comes together nicely and i feel like 
the mentality be behind just making sure that it's always like a silver sparkle and the gold that you choose to mix with your silver jewelry is that you know there's balance do you get what I'm trying to see? Another tip is that for me personally, I would pair my um, silver tennis bracelets with a delicate gold. So not a gold that's just like yellow gold. You know gold that I really like in your face kind of gold. Not those type of gold. A, a soft gold, if you get what I'm trying to say. So like I would usually pair like my tennis bracelet with like a delicate gold. And then you can also have like maybe another gold bracelet with some sparkle as well so some hints of like silver so that everything like works together nicely everything just needs to look very put together and well thought out okay so another tip would be that let's say if you have like a silver sparkly jewelry um, with a solid gold jewelry and they both happen to have like you know two different metals one thing you could kind of do is to have a degree of separation between both jewelries so for example let's say it's a ring like it's a gold metal ring solid metal ring and then it's a sparkly um silver ring just like i have on my finger right now what you could do is have that one um silver jewelry on one hand and then have the gold on the other hand because you don't want those jewelries to clash and the contrast might also be very obvious and we don't want that we don't want it looking tacky i've never known how to actually mix gold and silver that's always been like kind of like a struggle for me it's only recently that i've only started getting like a hang of it i just know what looks good with what the tip that i've given in terms of mixing your gold and silver jewelry is largely based on your own personal preference because you might like a certain way of doing it and you might not like the other or you're just somebody who does not like to mix you're just like a one way if i'm doing gold let me do gold if i'm doing silver let me do silver this is how like i said i used to be but i only started practicing and using some of these tips that i shared so which has really helped with my personal style but yeah that's it i hope like it helps to elevate your jewelry game jewelry really does have the power to do that like you just need to know how to wear it well and wear it with confidence as well so yeah that's the end of my video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in my next video